Greetings, my friends. I pray everyone had a blessed Easter where we celebrated Jesus Christ rising from the grave. I know that I did. I'm so tired of this evil world, man. I, I'm so sick and tired of it. And uh, like the, the title of the video says, the Bible said this would happen right before the rapture. It's happening right now. This is just uh, this is beyond belief. So here's what's going down. In one day, I found over 10,000 articles online in a 12-hour period on murder, rape, and violent crimes and debauchery with over 50,000 victims. That's that's one 12-hour period during a day. That, that That's not even counting the other 12. I got to get some sleep sometime. That's just one day with random searching over a 12-hour period. Now, that's just the major sick crimes that were reported. Imagine how many more that were out there that were not reported online. I stopped counting at 10,000 as well. And again, if I could have stayed awake 12 more hours, I bet I would have found just as many more. This is amazing, my friends. It's incredible how evil and wicked this world has become. Not just this nation I live in, uh, the former America, now no America, I believe it is the most evil place on earth. I'm convinced of that. And this whole world is just turned into a filthy, wicked, festering cesspool. It's turned into a hellhole. And I'm so tired of it. I really am. And I'm telling you right now, my friends, if we aren't living in the days of Lot, if we aren't living in the days of Noah right now, my name's not Paul. That's how sure I am we're living in those days. I believe we're living in worse days in those days because we have the internet. <clears throat> All the crime and the wickedness and the filth used to be isolated in pockets. Now you can just turn on the internet or the internet as I call it. And just with a click or two and see all the, the filth in the entire earth. I am just so tired of people being murdered, being raped, being beat, being violently assaulted. Uh, just It's just gone off the hook, off the charts. And again, in, in this country that I live in, crime is just like, it's like watching watching a movie on on, on total, total uh, just total craziness and just total berserking going across the entire country. The streets have turned into like a, like a war zone. It's turned into Crime City USA across this entire nation. And I am so tired of seeing it. I'm so sick and tired of living in this evil world. I've got a job to do until I'm raptured or until I die. Whatever Jesus decides to do with me. I'll keep witnessing and praying for the lost. I'll keep keeping my lamp filled with oil, with the Holy Spirit, until I'm raptured or dead again. I, I owe Jesus everything. That's the very least I can do. And that's nothing compared to what I owe him. It's the least I can do. And I thank God for many of you who are who are following and doing what I'm doing and witnessing and praying for the lost and, and trying to lead them to, to Christ's cross before time is late is, is, is up because time is late right now, my friends, and we are in the last of the last of the last of the last days. It's sad to see. It really is. It breaks my heart. And I'm just tired of it. Uh, the, the, the harvest is plentiful, Jesus said, but the harvesters are few. It, it's a fact. Where are the Christians they want to get out there and witness and pray. I've got so many that follow Christ with me on my ministries. But overall, most Christians just don't care about anything but themselves, sadly. It's, it's proven out. Jesus Christ is our only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in a box below a video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all with all of my heart. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth now. We fly soon. May God bless you. I can't wait to spend time with you in heaven and meet you all to give you all a big group hug. And just to hang out with you and to enjoy eternity away from the madness, away from the sickness and the filth and the wickedness and the evil of this hellacious cesspool we live in. I love you dearly. May God bless you. Make sure you share and take care. Bye.